Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about concentration. In this lesson, we are going to classify solutions in terms of their concentration and we want to know how to calculate the concentration of the, uh, of, uh, the solution. Uh, first of all, we want to define what uh, does a concentration mean. The concentration is the measure of the amount of solute dissolved in a solvent. So, this is the definition of concentration. Okay, how to calculate concentration? Because we are talking about the amount of solute dissolved in a solvent, here you can find the concentration by dividing, by dividing mass of a solute over volume of solvent. So, what is the unit? It, uh, for, uh, for the result here, it will be gram per milliliter because mass you find it in gram volume and milliliter so at the end the unit is used often is what gram per milliliter now we want to know how can the concentration of a solution vary this one depend on uh, depends on the amount of the solute that you add to a give for to a given amount of volume of solvent it depends. The first thing, it will give, for example, a dilute solution. The dilute solution contains a small amount of solute in a given volume of solvent. Okay, what about if you add more or large amount of solute in a given amount, volume of solvent? This one, it will give concentrated solution. So, the concentration solution contains a large amount of solute in a given volume of solvent. Okay, so the dilute, it has less amount of a solvent, a solute, a concentrated, concentrated it has a more, uh, but for both of these solutions, the solvent, all is the solute, all the solute will be dissolved, okay? Now, what about if you add more and more and more of the solute? It will give a saturated solution. The saturated solution contains the most solute that can be completely dissolved in a given amount of solvent at a given temperature and pressure. If more solute is added to a container of a saturated solution, it will settle to the bottom without dissolving. Here. If you have, for example, a, a cup of tea and you add a sugar and you keep adding sugar, add more and more spoons, you will find some of the uh, sugar will not be able to be dissolved because no room for these particles to, uh, to spread through the water particles. So at the end, some of the uh, solute will settle down, will not be able to dissolve. To understand the difference between these three solutions, listen carefully to this video and try to take notes. Suppose you make a solution by dissolving salt in a glass of water. How will the solution change as you add more and more salt? Is there a limit to how much salt the solution will hold? Click the images to see how adding more solute affects the solution. Begin with the dilute image and move clockwise until you have seen them all. Sugar is added to a beaker of water to make a solution. Since there isn't much sugar in the solution, the added sugar dissolves completely. That is, the concentration of solute in the solution is low. Concentration is the amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solution. At low concentrations, the solution is dilute. As more sugar is added, the sugar concentration in the solution increases. Before, the solution was dilute. Now, it's more concentrated. Some concentrated solutions dissolve more solute for a given amount of solvent. Some dissolve less. A solute's ability to dissolve in a solvent at a given temperature and pressure is called solubility. A third spoonful of sugar will not entirely dissolve. When, at a given temperature, a solution contains as much dissolved solute as it can, the solution is said to be saturated. 
When this happens, no more sugar dissolves, and all extra sugar sinks to the bottom. Okay. Uh, we understand now the dilute solution, a concentrated and saturated solution. Imagine you have a solution and you have increased the temperature of the saturated solution. The solution is saturated and you have increased the temperature of this saturated solution. Often allows more solute to dissolve. So here, uh, actually what happened when you increase the temperature, the uh, solution, the solute um, will dissolve more. It has the ability to dissolve more. If the solution now is cooled very slowly, the extra solute might stay dissolved. This type of solution is said to be super saturated. So, what is the again? Now you increase the temperature. When you increase the temperature, you will allow more solute uh, for the saturated sol uh, so solution. You will allow more uh, particles of solute to be uh, dissolved and you uh, leave this uh, solution to cool very slowly. That uh, means it will make what a uh, super saturated solution. A super saturated solution is very unstable actually. Okay. If even a single crystal of solute is added, all the extra solute will quickly solidify so that it is no longer dissolved in the solution. The result is often the formation of beautiful crystals of the solute. You can uh, look at your book, page 271, you will see how the crystals are uh, formed. Uh, to understand more uh, the meaning of supersaturated, uh, listen to this video and take notes most solutes will have greater solubility in water at higher temperatures so the saturated solution from the previous image should not hold the same amount of dissolved sugar when it cools but if the solution cools without being disturbed the amount of sugar that was in the saturated hot solution remains in solution the solution is now a super saturated solution Another example of a supersaturated solution is a rain cloud. Because supersaturated solutions are unstable, the supersaturated air cannot hold the excess water vapor at the lower temperature and pressure. Any disturbance will cause the excess water vapor to condense in the form of rain, hail, or snow. Okay, now I want you to uh, go to your uh, uh, book uh, page. 270. Uh, you will find a figure and this figure uh, a person is putting anti-freezing uh, in, uh, in his car. Okay. Uh, I want to ask you now uh, what might happen if the solution concentration was mixed incorrectly in this anti-freezing here the antifreezing as they mentioned uh, adding just the right concentration of antifreezing to the water in a car a radiator is important for keeping the engine from freezing uh, in the winter and overheating in the summer what's gonna happen my question now what's gonna happen if the solution concentration wa was mixed incorrectly how might the performance of the car be affected if the solution of uh, eth uh, ethylene uh, glycol and uh, water? Uh, here, please think about this question and uh, send me your uh, answer uh, uh, to this uh, question. Thank you for listening.